Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Filipina Des here. In today's video, it is going to be a little bit different from the usual videos that you always see in my channel about uh, life of Filipinos, uh, red flags about Filipinas, and my outside adventures outside YT, like that. In this video, I'd like to take this opportunity to give a message to you foreign men or the Western men who is interested, who are interested to date or marry a Filipina in the future. I would like you guys to understand and um, not to judge a Filipina like me who is a single mom and more likely uh, I would say independent as of the moment because there are reasons and I have my own reasons why I am still independent and I'm still in the situation where I don't have a man in my life yet. There are a lot of rumors out there where Filipinas are already feminist. Filipinas who have career or career or oriented are feminist and they hate men. And there are also some rumors, I don't know and we don't know how did it start about Filipinas who do not want to marry foreign men or have a relationship with the foreign men because they already have a lot of money and other stuff which I would say not really nice about Filipinas who are working independently who have their own business and it seems like uh, whoever have started this rumor maybe hate Filipinas First of all, um, the message I would like to say here is about um, the independent and working Filipinas, whether they are uh, whether they are breadwinners, uh, they are uh, only child or the only daughter in their family, or a single mother like me. In my country here in the Philippines, we still get a lot of discrimination and judgment. What do I mean by that? Whatever the women do here, we are always looked down, not only by our parents, but the society and the men in general. Those who are saying that, oh, Filipinas who are working and they have their own money do not need men because they have their own money. They can do on their own and they want to wear the pants and um, they don't need a man because what what is that for right guys don't don't believe don't believe believe that rumor because there are still a lot of hard-working independent um, I would say career orientated uh, Filipinas with business who still want to have a man in their lives right now we don't have a choice but to take care of ourselves emotionally physically and financially while we are looking for our guy or maybe we are waiting for our guy why not be more productive right okay so I'm not here to look down on those Filipinos who are jobless maybe that's their choice they don't want to have a job they just want to be jobless and wait for their uh, white knight like that or a foreign guy right Western guy who can help them uh, financially but I'm here just to uh, focus more on those Filipinas who you thought are feminist because we have our own work, we want to have jobs, we want to earn, we want to yeah, have our own money, we want to run our businesses. We do a lot of hustles. But guys, it doesn't mean or these things do not mean that we don't like to have a man in our lives. It is better to be productive, right? Better to have our own money because we don't want to get judged. We don't want to get judged by other people though we don't really have to give an F, right? Many Filipinas still want to have work because society and the men in general look down on us worst. Yeah, really bad if we are jobless, if we cannot stand on our own. But still, even if we have jobs, we earn, still many us like, oh, she's so feminist, oh, she's so strong. 
oh she's so bossy like we cannot really uh, satisfy the society whatever we do right okay so some filipinas or i would say a lot of filipinas are there in the dating apps dating websites uh, facebook group pages where there are also a lot of uh, foreign men who we never know maybe there are scammers as well right they are there because for them their only hope is a foreign guy and we cannot really blame them for that to those filipinas who have already you know doing financially well we have work we are employed we ha have our own business or hustles a uh, little source of income uh, it doesn't mean that we hate the men okay so we want to have our own money because we don't want to be seen by our guy as someone who is so in so dependent on you and we never know what you guys are thinking maybe you're thinking oh she's so dependent to me she always asks money she always like this oh her family is sick parents are sick uh, oh my gosh uh, you know you're gonna think probably or we are just overthinking you know what I mean so why not have our own money so that if ever we want to buy something then we don't have to ask those things from you right I don't know if a lot of foreign men want to be or want to have a 100% dependent women on them there's nothing wrong with that don't take uh, don't take that as a uh, an offensive manner a uh, matter okay so maybe some of you also like a woman who have a work because uh, I don't know with you I don't know why is that that's my question by the way why some or why many foreign men or Western men prefer to have a Filipina who have work and why some uh, foreign men, Western men, uh, want to have a, should we say, a woman who would be dependent on them in in all departments, <laughs> like uh, financially, especially. Okay, this is just a normal question. I want to understand as a Filipina why there are a lot of foreign men as well who rather you know have a woman who who got nothing really to do who is just busy with household chores okay there's nothing wrong with household household chores right but why is it a lot of you as well uh, want your woman to just be there I don't know jobless they don't really have their own business I don't know is that is that really just a preference right but anyway, um, having our own job, having our own income uh, business can actually be really good for us, not only the present but also in the future. Okay, so let's say we have met the guy for us. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. The relationship was <laughs> a failure, right? So we're gonna start from square one again. So actually... I feel bad to those Filipinas who are jobless uh, I would say didn't get a chance or opportunity to have a job steady income and uh, there comes a foreigner in their life sadly that foreigner lied to them the foreigner said that he was unmarried or divorced but after a few weeks there he is in another, another island in the Philippines meeting three or five more Filipinas okay so my point here is if things go wrong in the relationship at least we can start somewhere okay because it's just so difficult if a Filipina is just 100% dependent on their men what if the men lied to them what if the men doesn't really give them something I'm not saying that you are obligated to give them allowance it's up to you guys we cannot really say that yeah, a lot of foreign men here are financially stable that they can give allowance to their Filipinas, right? So to those Filipinas who are dependent to their, to their guy, but sadly, after a few weeks or a few months, the relationship failed, um, didn't go well, how can they start, right? 
it's so hard to um, manage your emotional being and financial sta status when you are broken, when you are broken hearted. Okay. So, I guess a Filipina who used to work before, okay, let's say maybe she's going to she's gonna have a hard time being dependent because she is she has been independent her entire life right or half of her life you know so maybe she has been independent for 10 years 20 years so it's gonna be quite hard to be honest to uh, to be dependent on you and that's why communication is the key Thank you guys for being here and of course thank you for your time. Uh, what do you guys think about the Filipinas who have work, who are running their own business, who, ha who have side hustles, who have small source of income like that and the Filipinas uh, who are jobless and yeah of course they are waiting for a foreign men and for them that's the easy way than looking for a job maybe so see you next time